Hello and welcome to this uh, silo tutorial. What we're going to do here is uh, use silo. We're going to get used to it and make some things in a very simple and straightforward manner. Um, silo is a very lightweight, very um, powerful program uh, for modeling and I find it's a really good starting point for getting to grips with modeling rather than having a massive complicated suite of things that does everything under the sun um, silo is a modeler uh, we can model we can uv and th that's about that and i find it very good as a you know a, a learning point okay so to start with if we create a, a primitive first so with my screen i'm just going to right click and create a cube just going to hit cube and that's just to get something into the viewport and now we can practice our rotating, panning, and uh, zooming, etc. So everything's done on the Alt key. If you press and hold down Alt and use the left mouse, you will rotate around your viewport. If you uh, press Alt and then use your right mouse button, we can zoom in and out. And then if you use Alt and the middle mouse button, we'll pan around. So very straightforward, just worth spending a few minutes, you know, getting used to that, uh, teaching your fingers what to do. Uh, I find once you've taught your fingers what to do, they generally do it without you even thinking. So that's that. Um, beyond that, the the general layout is very very straightforward. We've got some selection modes down here. Uh, so here we have the selection type. Uh, we've got polygon. Uh, edge vertex uh, then we have a kind of a mixed one which will select whatever you happen to be pointing at so if you're pointing at an edge it will select an edge if you're pointing at a polygon it will select a polygon okay and this is item mode where you just select the whole uh, primitive in itself uh, so then we have our um, gizmo types so we've got our move gizmo so we can move around by grabbing the handles and moving those around. And one concept is the, the mixer handles. Uh, you might see that. Let me just zoom in a little bit. There we go. Let's go back to item mode. That there is below the arrow, uh, or the um, depending upon which one you have the, uh, the mode, uh, you will find a square and on that square that mixes between two axes so for this uh, green square here it could mix between um, y and x for example or y and z and similarly all of our uh, gizmo all of our mix modes do a different thing and i find those very very useful indeed there we go so let's move then we have scale and again either grab the middle one and it will scale the whole thing we can scale in one direction we can do that and then we can use the mixer to scale in uh, two directions at once uh, rotate very similar except there's no mixer on the rotate just rotate around the chosen axis And then we have the uh, mix gizmo, which is just about everything all lumped into one. Uh, I prefer not to use it personally uh, because I get mixed up, uh, but I am an old man, so you might find it useful. Uh, other than that, we have our selection uh, types here, or uh, methods, if you like. So if I go to uh, select vertex and then use this line mode, anything I point at will select and you'll see it's selecting everything there uh, if I use this box mode I can drag a box over my vertices here and it will select those and then we have like a lasso mode uh, where I can draw a uh, rough shape around where I want and it will select those uh, items whether it be vertex edge or polygon etc etc okay so that's the generals of it um, over here we have our tools uh, and our uh, movement types and snaps and here we have our uvs 
so we'll be going through each of these as we go um, you know it's no point me sort of explaining the, uh, <laughs> the basics of every single one because you know you'll forget and well I'd forget and you know we're going to do it as we go anyway okay so that's a, a quick guide to the general interface uh, do a bit of practicing you know panning rotating zooming selecting you know just get yourself used to it um, and I'll talk to you in the next video when we'll start to make something so I'll talk to you then